Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Revolutionary North Zebra Calabra, but Project Highway. Although the ground effect vehicle has successfully been created, military applications are very limited at best. It's too fast, too hard to control, and the missiles we had hoped to mount on its back are too destabilizing to uh, the aerodynamics and inhibit its movement in movement more than it is acceptable. Regrettably, we must reassign the few we built to scouting purposes, where there's people hopefully be valuable in spotting an enemy fleet in the future. We may be able to design some as troop transports, where their speed would be invaluable for naval invasions, but for now, escorting is all it can do. Unfortunate. But I'll try and build up another uh, supply depot around here and get ready to invade these guys because we can. That's right. Um, yeah, there's like literally no supply around here. I'm not sure if it's really worth building another one right here. We're still trying to build one right there too. We'll do that maybe, and then go bing bong. Perhaps we're still building some up, um, some more railroads and whatnot. But let's see. I think we read this one too last time. With increased commonality of nuclear devices on the battlefield, force will need to be properly protected. This in turn requires that we develop thick lead armor for mechanized and tech units and reshape the tank design to allow the blast wave to fall around it or flow around it. While it's be difficult and complicated, the reward will be well worth it, of course. And we're done with our intelligence agency. And what do we get down here? Ah, good. And some better marine stuff. Nice. And one of the comments said, start researching more subs. You have plenty of chromium. Well, or maybe not chromium. Um, what was the comment? Uh, yeah, do more sums. Given how your state has chromium crests, why don't you just focus on building on subs? Uh, because it costs chromium? I don't, do they cost chromium? I don't, I don't remember. Do they cost chromium? No, they don't. So we should probably focus on more subs. So we might do that. Oh, no, we'll see. I'm not super concerned. Uh, let's see. Where are my boys at? Oh, there they are. They've got a lot of marines. DEA report on the Foo Fighters. Author, Dr. Blue, Blee, Blue Beam. Uh, day 10.18.9.6.1. A summary of the ph phenomenon known as Foo Fighters, and in fact, Breezies. Not extraterrestrials. They are sometimes endangered by fighters, and sometimes ride along with them to expedite travel. Now that we're aware of our Breezy comrades, uh, the Supreme Council's, uh, Workers' Council's, reach out to them with offers of an alliance. Uh, while such an agreement is outside of the department's oversight, we tentatively say that such a deal will be greatly beneficial to both parties. So our breezy comrades will be able to alert us when they see enemy planes come incoming, and we'll be able to assist them technologically and economically, as well as naturally avoid hurting them or disrupting their migration routes to all the workers of the world. Ooh. Oh, we can change all recruit all these guys. Oh god. There's a lot of different type of people here. Nope. Um Cruiser subs allow us to strike vastly distant targets by the designs updated in various ways. A new cruiser sub could potentially be outfitted with various surface weaponry, as well as torpedoes on the floor planes. Uh, sure, it's a lot of day, but okay. Project Bottom Feeder. Current depth charges are effective, but due to the limited blast radius, they often fail to disable the targets. Particularly, the sub detects the charge and it changes depth before it goes off. The exotic weaponry commission has come up with a solution to that problem, which are someone calling overkill. Aiming at depth charges with no low yield nuclear bombs would kill every submarine in the area, regardless of ch changing depth. Yeah. Aerodynamics, and we'll go with some too. Because we did just get like semi modern planes, I think, that I did off screen. Project Barnacle. While it may seem insane to leave nuclear weapons floating around in the ocean, the fact that there's a single naval mine, if equipped with a nuclear payload, can seek entire flotillas of enemy vessels, can effectively deny a much larger area to the enemy, since enemy vessels, for those uh, far away, from the blast could be damaged or sunk. We got hard points too. I'm not sure what hard points are for. Any, oh, you can mount any type of weapon on there. That's kind of cool. Um, so all quite a bit ahead of time, so probably not. Let's spend the research. It's fine. Nope. And it begins just fine because I want to continue going to war. Doesn't make a lot of sense for us. Eh, not too much, but you know I still want to go to war because we can. Nuclear bombs, yes. Look at all the stuff we got to build up here. Oh, my lord. We're still trying to be as merciful as possible while still killing off everybody. And, uh, you know what? Just grab that one. There we go. And what do we have here? Are we lacking anything? I really don't think so. So, when in doubt, no more chaos. That's right. Good. And an eternal revolution. Wait, cry the moderates. You'll be pushing uh, too hard. Stop, demand the reaction, or we shoot. Die, so snarls and perilous, calm yourself. We shall not wait, we shall not stop, we shall not die, we shall prevail no matter the whole world stands against us. Posada brings revolution to Azir. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, he does. Identify a depleted uranium collection. Tanks and artillery require tungsten and chromium, or a suitable substitute. We have plentiful amounts of depleted uranium ready to be used throughout our army, but we must develop the appropriate manners of collecting it safely. Widespread DU weapons. Depleted uranium is harder and denser than lead, and as an added bonus, it ignites on impact. Our tanks and battleships shall be armed with this material, and our anti-tank guns shall use it in their rounds. Well, if, yeah. Let's 
some funny stuff. Nice. And, uh, yeah. That looks pretty good, too. Even though now we're fighting kind of in the desert, but whatever. Finish training for now. Um, would you like an upgrade, sir? Yes, you would. Bronze Star, Gold Star, Order of Eris. There, Medal of Honor. Uh, here. Here, I have a Gold Star. How many nuclear reactors do we have? 16? If we have no crystals available, we will not be able to produce anymore. We have 44. We have plenty of rubber. Um, so synthetic crystals. We need citrine budetine rubber. We need polymerization refinements. And we need modern techniques. Cool. We'll keep going eventually down there. Nice. Fence heavy. Batteries are good. The finite element. Geochemical prospecting, huh? Very cool. Alright. Should be able to go to war soon. Advanced cruiser subs. Hunter killer subs. Well, we're already researching the next level. Torpedo rooms. Torpedo hit chance. Just fuel tanks. I don't think we need fuel tanks. That's kind of interesting. Let's max speed a little bit. Uh, mines. No, we're good. Oh, we actually are. Right, of course, we do that one. Radar is good. Rapid fire guns. I guess you could do that one if you really need it. Computer fours. Computer data. I don't think this is going to be very good to use. We'll throw it on it because we can. And we have these tanks here too. Maybe that looks nice. Oh, the Marines like the desert. <laughs> nice. Um, probably could use some of that earlier, but whatever. The blue star of the equator. Prosperous perspective with plentiful power, both hard and soft. Revolutionary North Zebrica stands as a shining beacon of communism. Our comrades around the world salute us, and the capitalists and reactionaries fear and despise us. Though cowards flinched, and traitors sneered, we've kept the blue flag flying here. Communists counter economics. Nice. Nope. Very good. Ships. Oh, we have 17. Look at that. There you go. I want you guys to max out on carriers. For now. Mare Egypt. Early attack subs. A true attack sub. Snorkels. Schnorkels. Here, do that because you can. Hey, looking better now. We actually have a little bit of chromium. Oh, very cool. We're going to do that one too. Some uh, comment, comments include the blue atom burns, or the atom blue, the atom burns blue. My bad, the atom burns blue. I got to read. Um, so it says, also, do your National Guard have any armored vehicles attached to them for resistance suppression? It's seeming interesting that you increase your production while there's thousands of them laying on storage. Yeah, that's a good question. Did I actually convert them? No, I actually didn't even use them yet. God dang it. Also, thank you for reminding me. Oh my god. There you go. Armored cars. Looking decent. Nice. They're hanging out, which is good. You guys moving to the front lines, you guys just kind of hanging out too. Nice. Dang it. Oh, oh god. You all gotta connect somehow, some way. There you go. Finish that stuff up for herself. All right. There you go. Train. Guess you can. And uh, DU is for you. 
The armor procurement offs begin rolling out the depleted uranium ammo for our armor piercing weapons. We plan to roll out DU plating on our heaviest vehicles as soon as we can get them retrofitted. So, Commissar has been asked by the troops to speak to the higher ops about DU as much as the rank of are still uncomfortable with handling gear. That sets off Nager counters. Although many troops in the anti tank detachments have expressed amazement at the performance of the new ammunition, we'll probably have to think of a better way of addressing their concerns and telling them it's a little bit of radiation. Is this stuff safe? Oh, well, at least it works. Exactly. And before I forget, half tracks? No. Oh, yeah, we actually don't have tracks. That's good. Yeah, do that one because you can. Because you can. Never enough nuclear bombs, you know. So do that one too. Two weeks left, nice. How's the world looking? Socialist Union of Equestria. Graphonian Empire. Kingdom of Cloudberry. River Coalition, Carthanian Pact. East Graphonian Code, Prosperity Sphere. Wow. Public Casa. Nope. Half tracks. Um. Project Bottom Feeder. Project Bottom Feeder has been declared a success. Terrafin reports that these new nuclear depth charges are powerful enough to obliterate any submarine out to, to a huge radius. Even the target changes depths. It's a potential to revolutionize or anti sub warfare, but Terrafin is cautioned against a general rollout. The charge is so powerful that they pose a threat to the destroyers launching them, leading many within the Navy, including Skysar, to suggest only to be deployed via naval bomber. To remove the challenge of sinking our own ships. Stick to bombers? Discuss nuclear bomb every month? Just follow the instructions and you'll be fine. Nuclear death charges. Airdrop nuclear death charges. Yeah, just follow the instructions. So we lose one every month. That is, that is definitely different. Uh, you know what? Since you're up here, why don't we just have you guys, like, naval invade? Might as well, right? What the heck? Come on. Go. Um, there's no good spots. Go figure it out. I'm going to war them soon enough. Um, so i got to give our guys some more time to sort everything else down here. You guys are something way too much attrition. There you go. And there we go. Super nuclear experiments. Cool. Miniaturized nukes. Only a thousand days. Modified nuclear source, resource output by plus one. Nuclear production. Research speed. More calories used for nukes. I think that's a fair trade. And then our uh, cetacean comrades. Dolphins are intelligent, communicative, social, and likely sapient. Although communication has been difficult, we still have many avenues to try. Let's look outwards. To every creature, we can forget our waterbound. Can we forget our waterbound comrades in the sea? Dolphins shall be reclassified as creatures, and killing them will be considered murder. Absolutely. Followed up with. Delving of the past. There's still so much we do truly do not know about this our history. How are the pyramids really built, and for what purpose? While well, mainstream archaeology holds the primitive tools that were used, we are not so close-minded. Numbers are down, so we get more stuff. Uh, let's see what type of magic we can work around with this. Oh God, you are suffering a crap ton of attrition. Yeah, I think you guys are just going to get defeated down here. Yeah. Bar goad. Yeah, pretty normal. Half tracks, nice. And you go there too. Butchering them all. There you go. The Marines have landed. Good job, guys. Knew they had it in them. 2,000 versus 74,000. That's not enough. Whatever. 
Abyssinia? Uh, sure. Just gonna get started to start building like a railway down here and then want to go to like right there so they can link up. There you go, nice. Works pretty good, works pretty efficiently for us. But my god, they're losing a lot of guys. DEA report on the Cetacean communication from Professor Deep Dive. Summary. The question of animal intelligence is one of the world's greatest mysteries. While all living things deserve respect regardless of their intellect, identifying which species are sapient could be the key to communicating with animals. Comrade Silverstein claimed that one of her former teachers, Fluttershy, is able to communicate clearly with all the animals regardless of species, unfortunately. The department has not been able to find any other creatures that possess this ability, nor have we been able to reach Fluttershy for an interview. DEA biologists quickly identified bottlenose dolphins as a late ideal species for sapience research. In the wild, dolphins exhibit several behaviors that are indicative of advanced cognitive abilities. To study dolphin intelligence, the research team decided to work and live in close proximity to a pod of dolphins for a period of four months. The dolphin sapience was proved beyond a doubt when they were able to perform complex tasks and recognize themselves in a mirror. How did three initial t these initial tests? The team attempted to establish communication. This proved difficult until one of the researchers brought in several whistles that produced different sound frequencies which the dolphins were able to mimic. The two-way whistle language the team created within the dolphins eventually developed its own grammar and syntax, both concepts which the dolphins could understand. The team's findings have revolutionary implications. The Blue Navy is already conducting research on a dolphin's ability to detect enemy vessels and naval mines. Some eccentric scientists are exploring the possibility of helping uh, to develop an advanced dolphin civilization. For now, these projects are highly classified, but the department has publicly announced the discovery that dolphins are sapient. The Seas Team with Friends. Universal Communist Goal. Every communist worthy of the name desires an international revolution, so called national communists. Are deluded, of course, are at best. As communists are not merely socialists, we see the revolution as a global affair. Therefore, we must reach out to our communist comrades and synchronize our efforts worldwide. Nice. You want to have him read his books up here. Ah, this is the capital now, huh? So much as I want to attack. Splash are definitely gonna be an issue. There you go. We got him. And a few pesky ships. Nice job, guys. You guys can all crowd down around there. Um, There, which is fine. You guys are hanging out, which is fine. I actually might want to change it up, but let's go and do this real quick. Uh, let's do someday. There we go. We're fine, 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 fine. Goodbye. Take brigades. Can you change you to magical infantry? No. Mechanized. Magical motorized. Republic, huh? Oh well. Turn your boys up. That's main batteries. Yes. You're fine. You're fine. You are going to be starving for supplies. That's pretty normal. There you go. Do all that stuff. You guys are just like, hey. You'll be fine. Just exploring the rest of the continent. I've never actually really gotten this down this way. Look at the fifth vision. Five. Posada awoke in a command center. Uh, she was wearing her full uniform, surrounded by other communist members. Uh, ruthless, hardline, the dreamer, starry eyes, and of course, Sky Star. 
What are your orders, General Secretary? Sky Sir asked. I write with bubbly hope. Tell us. Orders, Hardline added. Are we to attack the Yetis or not? Uh, attack on my Posada asked, her voice full of confusion. Are we. Uh, uh, what's going on? Track Lightning stepped forward, wearing the same uniform as her. We are avenging the injustice of the Storm Boy, said as his voice full of pride in you, General Secretary. Are leading the evasion. We're finally bringing the Yetis to their knees and forge a better world out of it. All we need is your uh, <clears throat> approval. And we'll send our plans to turn every city in their cursed lands to glass. What about the people there, Posada asked, fear in her voice? You mean the enemies, Skystar replied? They'll get what they deserve. This is our revenge. Our revenge for what they did to you, comrade. Crack, Skystar, sorry, all of her friends grinned, but it was a terrible grin. It was the grin of the Storm King worse. Posada woke up sobbing. Oh, she should. Wow, we got a crap ton of screens and three heavy ships. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave this here. You know what? You go there. We're going to have another task force because we can afford it, I think. I hope. Hey, looking look good on the Chromium now. DEA reports on the pyramids. Professor Ball Lightning. Ah, uh, Summer, the official story of mainstream archaeologists is that the pyramids of Merigip and Ra'im were built with nothing beyond a hammer and chisel. The official story further claims that some pyramids were built in as little as 20 years. We don't mean to downplay the magnificence of the builders of the pyramids, not their, nor their tremendous accomplishments. The pyramids are astonishing wonders of the world. Hmm. However, these structures would be difficult to build today with modern tools. We prepare for the C2 possibilities. The pyramids were built with advanced technology and magic as well as at least, at least as powerful and sophisticated as what we have today. That is an ancient conspiracy dating back to the first pyramids of Re'em and Mirgypt has secretly existed across all of history, organized by the greatest builders of each generation to design and construct these wonders. The department deems the first possibility far more likely. Uh, as an addendum, we further question how the ancient Mirgyptians and Re'emats came to possess such advanced tools and how that knowledge was lost. It's possible that advanced civilizations have existed for far longer than we previously thought, or perhaps these ancient peoples were assisted by some external force, who could say? Until the Supreme Workers' Council approves research in an necromancy, the truth will remain buried in the tombs of the ancients. We have much to learn from our ancestors. But I did ask you guys in the last video whether we should do a Cult of the Atom or Reason Above All. And the challenge recording, uh, with the comments given, there's more support for... Reason Above All. As magnificent as nuclear processes are, they are still entirely secular. One does not need to worship the atom to respect it. Uh, uh, nor does one need to join a cult to feel harmony in uh, with the infinite. The scientific method shall underlie society as it does politics. Nice. So we'll do that one. Which is fine. The, the other one had some more support. Had some support, but not nearly as much. So uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And you two more here. Oh, two more subs. Beautiful. Trying to spread our influence everywhere. How are we building? Are we looking good? Looking decent? Nice. Hope we get a little port here. Then again, I'm sure that they're overloaded. Just bad supply. Pretty normal. Um, how are we doing over here? Yeah, I'm just trying to connect everything around here too. It's going to suck. How many more days do we have for Abyssinia? Oh, three days. That's, that's pretty nice. All right. Anything else around here? Two thousand. Nice. Go with a thousand. Go here. Tra yeah, give them a thousand. And. 800? A thousand it is. And then... Simple 2,000. Finally, they have an Air Force. Oh. Pretty good. Go when you can. Because you're the only ones, and you're up there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we've been in Fargo. To, oh well, c'est la vie. Ah, we're just spreading out like a cancer. Base cost, abilities cost, invasion prep speed. Beautiful. These guys are still going out there too. Ooh, lost four subs, huh? Friends in Scandinavia. Against all odds, Scandinavia is hung on and prevail when surrounded by us reactionaries and living in the Arctic Circle. Our goals align perfectly with their internationalists. Even the communists may have uh, good points. Let's make some new friends.
Oh, it's not quite the ship there, didn't we? Round the clock support? Yes, please. Internationalist propaganda. The revolution must be spread for far and wide throughout the entire world and then beyond. We've never meant to walk this path alone. To all the comrades worldwide, we call upon you. Stand up, show the world that we are strong, show the capitalists that the flame of communism will and shall not die. Project Barracuda. One obvious naval application of nuclear weapons is in torpedoes. To meet a tip with a nuclear warhead, even a low yield one could effortlessly sink even the heaviest warships. But there is an advance in nuclear technology, this formidable new weapon may be finally in reach. Naval liaison? Sure, why not? You actually have eight divisions here, which is actually pretty decent, so. I'm gonna push out. Maybe it's fine. Probably. Probably. I don't know. Good killers, huh? Don't get encircled, god dang it. Oh my god. Very heavy on using the Marines here. They're actually not that close to the which is kind of disappointing. Attack subs, advance. Uh. Level five torpedoes. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna that one. Nice. Just mopping them up. Homing torpedoes are good. Sure. Yes. So we got the subs. Guys are kind of already here. Y'all go home. The 24 all are already here. You kind of have some supply bases somewhere around here ish. to need way more. They all have to be connected. Nice. Friends worldwide, all throughout the world, the cause of communism rises everywhere creatures are fed up with capitalism, reaction, and slavery. Communism is inevitable because it's a cosmic force. It's inevitable because the alternative is unbelievable or unlivable. We shall reach out to each and every comrade we can find and bring us all together in one great united front. Nice. And more organizations also. Great too. Club Town? Sure, why not? Um, there you go. Ship stuff, industry stuff. Because we totally need more rubber there. Yeah. 
Uh, I should use some of this stuff too. You two go there. This guy's been doing very well. Greens, he's level 8. Pretty good. Sort of efficiency, that's not bad. Assassin Genius. Yeah. Safety first. Sure, why not? You got plenty of guys that can train, anyways. So, why not? Spread theory globally. Although we have great respect for communist partisans, the fact is that they. That theory can be inspirational as well as educational. As much as traditional theory is ra rather dry reading, a committee should be formed to highlight the best and most salient points suitable for firing soldiers, firing up soldiers of international communism. Because why not? And, oh, we're gonna need some planes here too, aren't we? I no, already making him kind of over there. There you go, 100% already. Holy cow! Nice. Build, 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 build. Cruiser killer holes. Uh, oh, can we, are we researching the next one? Let's wait till the next one. Advanced cru cruiser subs. Mm. Mm. 18. Yeah, let's get over this one. Sonars. Here's a up tank. Org's a little low, but whatever. Probably don't need more uh, things right there either. Look at that. Jet Age uh, Fighter Theory. Why not? And just kind of shredding through them. But more Marines. Yay! Good job, guys. Now let's get you out of here. So we start investing in something like this to there, there, there. Go straight for the capital, of course, because why not? And get out of there. Should help a little bit with supplies. Only 29 nukes? Not enough. There you go. Make another one. Okay. I lied. Make it just another one more too after that one. Friends of Stalingrad. Stalingrad, the home of the revolution. It's always so tall against the question of aggression. Our relations have been frosty as time. Surely we can reopen diplomatic channels. As fellow believers in communism, it's time to come together as one for the betterment of all creature kind. Subvert the unions. Despite what many union busting re reactionaries say, unions are unfortunately usually not a fifth column ready to strangle the economy as at a note from the international associates, but they should be. We should propagate propaganda throughout unions, shifting the rhetoric away from fair pay into an abolition of the wage system. Even stronger. I'm not super worried about resistance either. Um, Project Barnacle. Project Barnacle has been declared a success. 
would produce a small batch of nuclear-equipped mines uh, to be distributed among our mine-laying uh, uh, ships over the next month. Needless to say, these mines carry an enormous payload capable of sinking any ship, which sets one off. Although the radiation signature from the uranium core of each mine will make it easier to detect. Combined with immense cost, the majority of our mines will still be using conventional payloads. But even a few of these will give our enemies pause before approaching our waters. Every ship sunk with a mine is a sailor's life saved. Subvert the unions. Oh, yeah, I read this one. I'll read for that one. From the revol re revolution, no, reinventor, Reventer. The Revolutionary International, an association of die-hard communists ready to fight the forces of the reaction anywhere, has been the dream of Pesadas for years. Now we have set up a potential web of friends across the world. We're in a position to make this dream come true. The revolution shall burn forevermore. Light cruiser battery auto loading. That's heavy cruiser over there. Four auto loading. Slightly more piercing. More cost. Actually, this is less cost. This gives you anti-air. But we already get anti-air over here. Let's go with advanced sonar just in case. Five is nice. Uh, nuclear, oh yeah. Depth charges. We're gonna throw one on, and then throw on the nuclear depth charges. Do we have torpedoes? No, not yet. Now that is a nice cruiser. It's fine, I'm just gonna start, scrap it, just start making those. Oh, good God. That's nice. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Just in case. And 14 Riptide. Nice. How is the supply around here? Like a little bit down here, huh? Not good enough. Uh, there you go. Congrats. Um, I'm already can tell we're gonna need one here, maybe. Putting up the radar is good. Airbase and maybe another airbase for there. That'll look very good. But nuclear reactors at the top. We make we have 20, building about 5% a day. Oh, that's not bad. Subs go there. And subs will go there. Three, yes. I'm going to war with this guy. We don't. They can't. They only do them navy, but still, it's not very much. Ever expanding. Fluid catalytic crackdowns or whatever it is. Oh, riptides, huh? And then form the revolution. Uh, Re Reventurn. I keep calling it revolution. Re Reventurn. Oh, we need this one too. Oh. Multi-stage detonations. While pure fission, fusion weapons are likely out of reach for the foreseeable future, we can trigger a fusion reaction with a fission reaction. Such complicated designs would naturally require further research, um, but that means only we rise to the challenge, a fission a fusion weapon will be ours. The Sunset Atoll Test. A long last prototype thermonuclear bomb has been developed and a suitably remote secret uninhabited island has been selected. All that remains is the finished construction. It would be unwise to invite anyone abroad to come and uh, see the test. What if the device doesn't work? That's a good question. More. 
God dang it. How's your spear looking? Not great. There you go. That's what we like to see. Casualties though? Decent. Could be better. Just kind of shredding through them a little bit. That's all. Oh, we more. Oh, oh we need more stuff. Maneuverability warfare. Speed and. Ooh. Full spectrum operations. Strategic warfare. Operational depth. Huh. Oh, mechanized. This seems pretty much more defensive stuff still. Organization reinforcement is pretty good. Planning, legumetry, organization, and defense is a continuation of uh, that one doctrine. Future defense. Full spectrum. Full spectrum. I am definitely on the spectrum. Um, tanks. Artillery expertise. Even more stuff for artillery. Oh, God. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Uh, organization and recovery is not bad either. <sighs> Army organization overall is pretty good too, but we're going to do this one. Full spectrum operations. Because I want more, um... Which one do we need it for this one of you? Huh? I want more artillery, soft attack. More soft attack, more organization. Even more recovery rate. And more soft attack, heart attack, and organization from infantry. That's just, that's just nice to have. Ansorak. And now we're down this little straighter channel-ish area. Beautiful. Need more nukes, god dang it. My bad. Oh no, we have only 28. Oh god. Um, offer membership to the Revintern. Oh, Re Revintern, yeah. Hippogriffs. Associate membership to these guys. Deer's Republic, Social Senior of Equestria. Taraliai. Northern Republic. I probably should have done this first. We just slaughtered a quarter million of them. I'm sorry, I just gotta keep going to war. Just have to. Oh my god. A third of a million almost. What if we said you're gonna be with someone else? Skybeak. How much else has changed? Charismatic. I like that. You all go here now. God. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more nuclear reactors. Oh, helicopters might not. <laughs> Even more marines, nice. Through the light, the social students of Equestria agreed to become an associate in the Riven Turn. Surely benefit the aim of global communism and help us move towards an upper stage communist society together. Oh, nice. They all agree. Awesome. We're going to need more construction speed. God, it's still going down. Bench that thing down there. The Arabian Republic, huh? Let me go these guys next, actually. 
It's only 24 for now. That's a case. Let's go here and just, uh, where is it? Can we not build anything? Oh, here they are. We can suppress our subjects. Construction engineering. Yeah. We definitely need that right now. I have a feeling these guys are not going to be able to do very much. God, our nuclear bombs are going down too. Yeah, we're gonna build. We're gonna mass, 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 super produce everything. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. I'll see you when we finish. Hopefully, can at least do one of these focuses. Project Barracuda. Terrapin reports success. Project Barracuda has borne fruit. A workable prototype of nuclear armed torpedoes ready to roll out to ourselves and destroyers. The man's payload makes it a practical guarantee kill if the directive can be achieved, although the prohibitive cost and danger to actually deploying such a weapon in combat situation means it's likely to see only limited use. So, this terrifying new weapon will give us a major advantage in trade interdiction and naval engagements. Cool. No convoy shall we say? Oh god. It's gonna cost even more every month. Oh god. And we're still trying to produce more, and eventually we gotta go to war with the Arabian Republic just because uh, this is straight down here. It's a little tight. So now, I've been at war for quite a while. We've taken a lot of Zebra Cut, not all of it, but uh, it's 1023, and we just finished a multi stage weapon. Oh my god, this took forever to get to. Posada listened carefully. Oh, if you wanna read uh, Sunset Atoll again, please go right ahead. Um, Posada listened carefully as a scientist explained the proposed design. While still all purely theoretical notion, the science man was sound. A two-stage weapon using the heat and pressure created a nuclear fission to produce a th uh, nuclear fusion. And both complexity and blast yield, this thermal nuclear device would make the crystal atomic bomb look like a firecracker. Besides his eyes fixed on the lab coat uh, pony at flap. So you're telling me it would take years to get this right. So we had to pour as much effort into this, if not more, than making the first nuclear weapons. Yes, uh, Madam General Secretary. Do you think it'll work? A fusion bomb within this decade? According to our most current understanding of uh, atomic physics, under the right circumstances, a fission. Uh, a bomb can trigger a fusion reaction, and the energy release would be vastly greater than anything we have now. We can very well see yields exceeding a, a megaton. Over a megaton, the sixth vision. The uh, three quarks jiggled around, vibrating in their tricolored game. The four hydrogen atoms slammed together at incomprehensible speed. Two of them converted into neutrons in a spot from this reaction in an unimaginable bound just like it. The sun burned. The massive blue-white star was being slowly devoured by its pitch-black neighbor, a neighbor which looked nothing like so much as a hole in space. The galaxies danced, gravity tugging them towards each other, yet momentum kept them from slamming together. Uh, their dance would last millions of years before it finally ended in a spectacular merger. At the largest scale imaginable, the universe looked like nothing so much as the strands of star essence uh, pasta laid upon one another, and yet each star was a hundred thousand galaxies. Wow. Posada floated through the space, each, seeing each of these in turn. Somehow, uh, she knew to core of her being that each of these was happening right here, right now. That was an endless song of the cosmos, an unceasing waltz that all of the world was but a tiny part of. Posada woke up at peace. And we have more stuff there. There you go. Um, but yeah, we're beating the crap out of these guys. And let's we'll see what other focuses we have. Um, four, five. That's nice. We're going to wait. Um, anyone like to go to the palace for Eye of the Storm? I'd like to take out the Storm King. We've already killed two million of them. We're we'll taking 31,000 casualties. We've actually D mobilized a little bit, and we're only at extensive conscription now. Go figure. Which is nice. But yeah, now we have like how many nuclear reactors? Because we ran out of crystals at one point. We were negative 200 some, so that's why we just keep going to war with people. Because we need the nuclear reactors. <laughs> keep going on in, y'all. I'm making more tanks, 40 combat with main uh, battle tanks and whatnot. Good. You go there first. And bolt port. There you go. Should I drive tanks into the hills and mountains? Probably not, but whatever. Oh, thank god we got him. 
Well, taking up the Storm King, I definitely was not expecting you to do that in this campaign. Beautiful. Um, we don't have very many options to take these guys out. Tanks would probably be a bad idea. I might do a little bit of this off screen. We'll just see, because I don't know what the focuses are like here. Um, so. But I've been playing this for quite a while. So, yeah. There you just probably enter through here to here. The sunset aid to test. Nice. I want you guys to deploy here just in case to get ready. Nice. And I want you guys all uh, basically do the same thing right around. Uh, not there. You might as well go up here. Until it went off, no opponent could ever be quite bringing themselves to it. I would believe it would actually work. Even when the countdown. Uh, reach zero. They still probably wonder if the great work had been a pipe dream, or the gods would somehow stop them from wielding such power. Then it happened. The fireball. Uh, a hemisphere of impossibly bright light, expanding outward in the sky and dwarfing the sun itself. It engulfed the sunset atoll, the ocean around it kept expanding until it finally faded in on itself, distortions on its surface becoming visible as darker spots as it reached the maximum size. The mushroom cloud which came next broke through the clouds, and the gas and debris flying up high into the atmosphere. The yield was exactly as predicted, 10.06 10 megatons, over 300 times the yield of a conventional explosion bomb. The scientists watching from many miles away in a red rad shield of bunker shared their drinks in silence by the stars. Anyone who are at war with will suffer the sunset atoll terror national spirit, weakening the will to fight. Nice! Thermonuclear, uh, thermonuclear detonation on a sunset atoll. Shocking news from the nation of revolutionary North Zebrica. As besides could proclaim the successful test of a nuclear weapon, uh, thought years away. This has been corroborated by the spy plans that record the high levels of radiation near the uninhabited Isles of Sunset Atoll. While technical details are classified, of course, it appears the weapon used a fission reaction kickstart a, f uh, a fusion reaction and a, f a shell of tritium and de deuterium outside it, creating a blast in the megaton range. What this may mean for the world is unclear, but uh, one thing is certain, the power of the sun is now on moral fins. The Storm Kings of the world will trouble. Storm King's dead. Nice. Discovery of elements 99 and 100. In the aftermath of the Sunset Atoll nuclear test, our scientists have discovered evidence of the formation of two elements previously unknown. Our H-bomb designers are especially excited at the potential of this. As it means they're now immortal heroes in the legacy of science, one question, however, remains. What do we call these elements? A starry eyes and a hard line of proposed proletarium and revolutium to pay homage to the work we have, uh, have to do. Meanwhile, scientists themselves have requested Terrafinium and Clotonium after the greater nucle greatest nuclear scientists in our nation and the claw research complex where the weapon was designed. In either case, once the names are chosen, be read to the press and declared to the international scientific community. The decision result rests with the general secretary. What will we call this new elements? Plutarium and Revolutium? Or Revolutium? Yeah, for immortal goals. Terrafinium and Clotonium to honor the scientists. What do the immortal goals? As much as I'd like to honor those who have individually contributed, um, we're here because everyone wants to do this. Yeah, I got 14 nukes left. I didn't realize there was a nuclear requirement for some sort of stuff here. Kind of sucks. But it makes sense. I've taken out more of Zipper Cup than I've ever had in any other uh, campaign um, so far. So far. My god. This is insane. Because the tanks are using this, right? Yeah, there you are. Nice. Basically, at the end, they're using basically no fuel, right? Probably. Probably. Yeah, minus 40% supply usage. It's pretty good. Not sure what else I want to throw on here, though. Maybe flame tanks? Maybe? I'm going train, real quick. Well, war plan hydrogen. Um, I hear there's supposed to be new focuses. It's 10. 24, Warp and Hydrogen. The Presidium was filled with quiet murmurs as Posada approached a podium. Opening speeches were normally short and perfunctory, but today the General Secretary had announced that she would be proposing a motion. No one had any idea what was going to, she was going to say. Comrades, since the revolution began, we've achieved many things. We've freed North Zebrica from the shackles of tyranny and exploitation. We're developing a society where scarcity and want will soon be things of the past, and thanks to the people's hard work, communism is more secure than ever before. A few deputies began to clap for Posada just for them to be silent. But it's not enough. What we do know is Zebrico will never be enough, for there are certain creatures all over the globe still suffering. Capitalism and imperialism are alive and well, and the tyrants of the world grow stronger every day. As we continue to exploit the proletariat, they will try to attack us, destroy the example of a better world we represent. Until reaction is defeated everywhere, we will truly never be safe. Without a pause for effecting, they exclaimed, I move that we declare war on the every supremacist state in the world. 
For a moment there was silence, and then the room erupted into chaos. Many deputies began loudly booing and jeering. Others stood with their mouths open, too shocked to speak. Sky Star's eyes went wide as saucers, her mouth trembling. Comrades, please, Posada continued. I know this plan is a bit extreme, but it's not impossible. With the capabilities to take on any military in the world, and win. It'd be a long and hard-fought war, but by making this sacrifice, we shall set the workers of the world free. Posada's reasoning seemed to persuade a number of deputies, and a few even started to cheer. Others were incredulous, believing that their colleagues and the general secretary must have completely lost their minds. As with most presidium so, so shocked, Posada yielded the floor for the debate. Uh, the Annihilation of War Plan Hydrogen. Um. Show mercy? We're supposed to show mercy, right? Which one do we do this one? I don't know. Seriously, which one do we do? The Annihilation. Because we just did War Plan Hydrogen. We're supposed to show mercy, right? So, this is madness. If we won't go along with this plan, what does this one do? Are we supposed to do the motion will pass? Please let me know in the comments below, because I want to get the right path. Um, what if we do this one? The motion will pass. Nuclear revolutionary, of course. Assassination survivor. Or, is this the right one? The path we're supposed to do? We won't go along with this? Did I screw it up? The first thermonuclear weapon. After Sunset Atoll test, we witnessed the power of a device in the Megaton range. But Sunset Atoll was just an experiment, now it's time to build a weapon. Let's hope we never have to use it. Uh, the Strategic Annihilation Air Fleet. In order to show the world we do not fear the forces of reaction, fascism, and brutality, we must have the power to inject fear into them. Into them. We'll build one of the largest fleets of strategic bombers capable of dropping a devastation anywhere, anytime. So let me know in the comments below if I show the right path. I have no idea. I mean, I've never taken out most of Zebrica, the vast majority of it, so... Hey, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll see what else we can do with our communist team. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.